Now, precious one in the Lord, we thank the Lord for today as well. We are breaking anti-marriage spirit. The spirit that will not allow you to marry. The spirit that will disturb marriage in the family. That is why we are here. Anti-marriage demon. Now, let us read something here. Job chapter 14, verse 1. Mortals born of a woman <laughs> are, are, are few days, but many troubles. Onipa oba wuno, Bible say, amani onkuto. But sometimes you can be on this earth so brimless, but so many troubles following your family. Again, let us go to Second Kings chapter five, verse one. Now Naaman was a commander of the army. Naaman, a very good man, a commander of an army, a respectable man, a man of integrity, a man of dignity. But Naaman had a leprosy. This great man, who was a commander of the army, who was the king, you know, the commander of the army of the king, had so much, he was a man of great value, you know, he was highly respected in the community but he was a leprosy he was with leprosy this leprosy led him into so many weaknesses i don't know what your family has i don't know what your family is blessed with but there is a but there the but there can stop the family from becoming blessed the but there can promote evil things and evil entry into your family today we are here to destroy that bat in your family. As I stand here, in my fully dressed attire as a man of God, I raise my hand in your family. I raise my hand in your family. Any bat in the family should be taken away right now. I say any bat. <laughs> any bat in your family should be broken right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody in the beginning just open your mouth and say, Lord, any bat in my family should be taken away in the bat on my family in the name of Jesus now we are moving to the main task of the day in your family we are dealing with one of the bats the family can be very good so beautiful so handsome but marriage can be a challenge in the family that bat is what we are here to handle in a very solemn way, quiet way, so much reflective. We are reflecting on the power of God and how God can save us and how God can deliver us. Genesis chapter 2 verse 28 said it clearly. The Lord said, it is not good for a man to live alone. It is not good for a man to live alone. So your first declaration is this. Genesis chapter 2 verse 28. Lord, your word said, it is not good for a man to live alone. It is not good for a woman to live alone. It is not good for me to be single. That is a message you are referring. That is a message you are repeating. That it is not good for me to live alone. So just open your mouth and say, Lord, for it is not good for me to live alone. If you are married and you are on the line, just say, Lord, it is not good for my son to be alone. It is not good for my daughter to be alone. And therefore, Lord, the helpmate of this person must come to pass the health mate of this person must come to pass a research made by one person indicated five reasons why someone a man or woman should not live alone should not be single he said one you must not be single because you won't help you won't get a help meet he said you must not be alone because if you're alone you will not get a help meet so just open your mouth and say lord your word said i should not be alone i must not live alone therefore lord give me my help mate i need my help mate grant me my help mate in the name of jesus father i need my help mate this year i need my help mate in my life in the name of jesus christ the number two of the reason is this that the blessings that the Lord has for those that will not be alone, you will not get it. So the blessing of fulfillment of God's, you know, second command, that it's not good for a man to live alone, but will go and claim with the woman to produce 
So therefore, if you're alone, you cannot produce. So say, Lord, I want to produce. I want to produce. Give me the power to produce. In the name of Jesus, give me the opportunity, Lord, to also produce. In the name of Jesus, I need the opportunity that I can produce. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, grant me the opportunity that I can produce. The reason that was also given in the third point is that if you live alone, it means that you cannot satisfy the desire that God has given you. You cannot satisfy the desire that God has given you. So Lord, he said, Lord, I want to satisfy my desire. The desire you have given me. So let me not be single. Father, let me not be single. I want to satisfy the desire that you have given me in this life. So I don't want to be single. In the name of Jesus, if you are married, you also say, Lord, in this marriage, let me satisfy my desire. The desire you have given me in the name of Jesus. You continue with the fourth point of why you should not be single is the fact that you won't have the benefit of woman's influence. The benefit of woman's influence. You know, women are so gifted. They have the gift of discernment. Every woman has the gift of discernment. They see the thing in advance. They hear the thing in advance. And so what they do is that, wait for a little while, let's move on. When a man is down, that is where you see the influence of a woman. The woman will motivate you. The woman will encourage you. The woman will tell you it is well. So just open up and say, Lord, I also want to get a man. I also want to get a woman. That the influence of the opposite side will be so much felt on my life. In the name of Jesus. So are men also influential. So Lord, say, Lord, even if I'm in my marriage and I don't see this influence, grant unto me, O oh Lord, that I will benefit from this influence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The last one on why you should not be alone, why you should not stay alone, is the fact that one, he won't experience the satisfaction marriage provides. Marriage provides satisfaction. There's that grace of satisfaction. You want to say, Lord, I don't want illegal satisfaction. I want a legal satisfaction that I will marry before I get satisfied. That I will marry and see myself in my marital home to be satisfied in the name of Jesus. Now, having said this, we are now going to apply the blood of Jesus. We are now moving into the blood of Jesus to use the blood of Jesus to break the blood of Jesus to claim. So, one, moving, using the blood of Jesus as a weapon. So, he said, blood of Jesus, somebody shout and say, blood of Jesus. I need the right person in my life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So, 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 blood of Jesus, give me the right person, the right individual, the right powers in my life in the name of Jesus. Then you move again to say, Lord Jesus, I need the doors to be open for me. Marital doors, blood of Jesus, open it for me. Marital doors, blood of Jesus, open for me. Marital doors, blood of Jesus, open for me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, just open your mouth and pray. As a child of God, I give you the opportunity to pray in the name of Jesus. Continue to say with me, let me never fall into the wrong hands. Let me never fall into the wrong hands. Father, I refuse to fall into the wrong hands in the name of Jesus. Move again to say, Lord, I need a spouse that will love me. I need a spouse that will love you. I need a spouse that loves you in the name of Jesus. If you are married, you say, Lord, let my spouse love me. Let my spouse love me in the name of Jesus. Lord God, let my spouse love me and love me very well in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I need a spouse that fears you. Father, I need a spouse that fears you. In the name of Jesus, let my spouse fear you, Lord. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So, Father, grant me a spouse that fears you, that reveres your name. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit, the one that honors your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's still moving again to pray and say, Lord, never ever. Let me fall into the wrong hands. Father, 
Don't let me fall into the wrong hands. Every wrong hand, I refuse it in the name of Jesus. Every wrong hand, I refuse to fall into it in the name of Jesus. Father, disappointment should not follow my life. In my marital life, disappointment should not become part of me. In the mighty name of Jesus, continue to say, Father, all men who are opportunists, don't let them come my way. All women who are opportunists, don't let them come my way. So, Lord, opportunists should not knock at my door. Persons who are opportunists, they should knock my door. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every door that has been opened unto opportunists to locate my life and disturb me. I cancel those doors in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now we'll move, we'll change the direction again. You would be here. we we'll move again to move and pray as a believer in the Lord. Now the next prayer point is this. Lord God, grant me the power to locate my destined spouse. Are you there with me? Lord, grant me the power to locate my destined spouse. You know, God must give you the man, the woman that he has planned for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So he said, Lord, give me a person that will lead me to my destination. That will lead me to my destination, to my official place in the name of Jesus. Continue to pray as a child of God. The wind is blowing. Just go here. Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to pray. And say, Lord God Almighty, anyone that has been sent to come into my life, to destroy me, to come into my life, to derail my future, Father, let not that person come into my life. In the name of Jesus, move again, child of God, and say, any demon that is meant to marry me spiritually, Lord, destroy the foundation of that demon now. In the name of Jesus, in the demon that wants to destroy me, in the demon that has been sent to destroy my marriage, to destroy my life, in the name of Jesus, I cancel it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the marine spirit that marries me spiritually, I break that tie. In the name of Jesus, spiritual marriage, live my life now. In the name of Jesus, spiritual marriage, live my life now. In the name of Jesus, Father, in a spirit that has kept me since childhood and seizing me from becoming, you know, the person you have created me for. May you block the chance of that power. In the name of Jesus, now move again. You are going to deal with dreams. You know, you know, spiritual marriage dreams, anti anti marriage dreams, things that you see in your, in your dream that shows that you are under bondage. We are moving, so give me some time to, today and let's spend some time to work on this once and for all. Now we're moving again to demons that that you know that that, that appear in your dreams that you see and it shows that you, your 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 marital life is under bondage. Now, first of all, let's go. Say with me, Lord. If there is any of my property that has gotten missing in a dream, in the name of Jesus, bring it back. Any missing item, bring it back in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, you use dreams to show your power. Lord, you use dreams to show your glory. Father, you use dreams that your children will understand you. But now, there are some demons that are making noise in my dream, stopping me from marrying, stopping me from enjoying my marriage. So, Lord, today I stand that if there is anything that is pushing me in my dream to the marketplace, that I see myself in the marketplace, that I see myself changing money, that I see myself picking coins, any power pushing my spirit into that dream i remove myself i remove myself in the name of jesus you go in again lord any dream that i see myself wearing a wedding ring wedding uh, we wearing a wedding dress a wedding item today may your fire burn those items 
in the name of Jesus. Lord God, if there is any dream that I've seen myself wearing a wedding dress, a wedding ring, or any wedding item, may your fire begin to burn it. Precious one in the Lord, whether you are married or not, this prayer is for you. You need this prayer carefully and you need to pray this prayer with me. I'm taking my time to let you repeat after me that it will be a blessing in the name of Jesus. I know this prayer is going to change things. I know this prayer is going to work things out for you. I know this prayer is going to, it's going to release you from any bondage in the name of Jesus. Now, let's go. Say, anyone in the spirit that has, that, that, that has been having sex with me in my dream today, Lord, today I cancel such dreams in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has been having sex with me in my dream from today, I cancel such dreams right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, anyone who has sworn by his grounds, by his hometown, that I will never marry, the Lord. Today, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Any dream that I see myself climbing a mountain but unable to climb, Father, in the name of Jesus, I break that mountain by your tender. I break that mountain by your blood in the name of Jesus. In the examination, I am writing in my dream that I'm unable to write Father Lord by your power by your spirit I break that exam by your chain in the name of Jesus by your blood that examination that difficult examination I write in my dream I break it now I stop the invigilator from invigilating me in the name of Jesus I tear the papers into pieces right now in the name of jesus father lord if in my dream i see confusion in my family any spiritual confusion in my family by your power i stop those confusion in the name of jesus any confusion that is happening in the spiritual realm which i see in my dream today lord i cancel those confusions in the name of jesus Father, today, if there is any power which has made me give birth in my dreams, give birth in my dreams, today, may your spiritual buddhism begin to smash those children in the spiritual realms. I don't need children in the spiritual realms. I need children physically in the name of Jesus. Any spiritual children that I've had which have forced me to have in the spiritual realms that the Lord is preventing my physical children, is preventing my responsibility from being discharged on this earth. May the spiritual Buddha smash those spiritual children right now in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray again. And say, Lord, any power that has been putting forgetfulness on me in my dream today, demon of forgetfulness, I command you live my life now it is a command it is a command therefore live my life in the name of jesus it is a command it is a command in the mighty name of jesus the last thing you are talking about as far as dreams are concerned is this one people chasing you now sometimes you see yourself being chased in your dream it, it's a way of chasing you from your destiny chasing you from your original position so you just open your mouth and say, Lord, if in my dream there are forces chasing me, Father, may you stop them. Lord, may you stop them in the name of Jesus. Forces chasing me, demon chasing me, I command you to stop chasing me. It is a command, stop chasing me. You cannot chase me in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what you are going through. But this can be your prayer topic. We have not finished. We have not gone anywhere in the prayer. I will use the next 10 minutes again to take it to another level. And I think we need to get part two of this message. 
it is very important. Now, we're going to claim it by faith. Then we bring this segment to a, a, a close because there are some yokes that must be broken. But having prayed this prayer, you still must take some few things by faith. So by faith, we are going to claim certain things. Okay? So this one be a little bit faster and let's go. We say, by faith, my family is released. By faith, I take my spouse now. By faith, I possess my marital keys. By faith, I no strange disease will prevent me from marrying by faith no strange disease no strange sickness no strange illness will fall on me say by faith my marriage will be a testimony my marriage will be a testimony my marriage will be a testimony my home will be a testimony my children will be a testimony by faith any power that has swallowed my marriage, bring it now by faith. Any power that has swallowed my marriage, bring it now by faith. By faith, any power that has swallowed my marriage, I command you, bring it now. Any spirit swallowing my marriage, I command you, you cannot swallow my marriage, bring it now. Swallowing my children's marriage, my grandchildren's marriage, I command you. Pour it out now. Vomit it now. It is by fire. It is by tender. In the name of Jesus. The next declaration is this. I will enjoy my marriage. 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 In the name of Jesus. I will enjoy. I will enjoy. I will enjoy. I will enjoy my marriage. In the name of Jesus, I will enjoy my marriage. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, continue, open your mouth and say, He said, In the name of Jesus, you devil, you cannot waste my time. You cannot waste my time, my people. Sometimes your time is wasted. Your time is wasted. Somebody can come into your life and waste all your time, three years, four years. I just got a message, you know, you know, three days ago, I said, a man of God, I've dated a man for seven years, and now he's telling me that his parents do not agree to our marriage. Can you imagine? Seven years. Seven years. Why? He said, today, I take authority. Nobody can waste my time. No spirit can waste my time. Time wasters leave my life. Time wasters leave my family. Time wasters leave us alone. Time wasters, we command you, leave our lives now. You cannot waste our time. Time destroyers, may the fire of God begin to catch you now. Time destroyers, in the name of Jesus, you will not be part of our life right now. It is a command. We command you out and go in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now you know what another important area is this one say i will not be disappointed again oh my god i will not be disappointed again not again not again i will not be disappointed again libru copian mortals born of a woman our few days and full of trouble but Lord take my trouble away mm. Mm. now let's go with me say with me Job chapter 14 verse 1 say with me Job chapter 14 verse 1 mortals born of a woman are of few days but full of trouble Full of trouble. Say, Lord, trouble my troubles this year. Trouble my troubles this year. Trouble my troubles this year. Trouble my problem this year. Trouble my problems, uh, problem makers this year. In the name of Jesus, trouble my troubles. Holy Ghost fire, trouble my troubles this year. Holy Ghost fire. Trouble my adversaries this year. Holy Ghost fire. Trouble all those powers. 
that want me to be disappointed. Father, trouble them. My Lord, trouble them. The spirit of my family, the demons of my family, Father, trouble them. My Lord, trouble them. All knowing God, all knowing God, may you trouble them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are going to the next one, my Lord, <laughs> beloved Lord Jesus Christ. I'm enjoying it so much because there hasn't been a single day that I've been received in my mail or WhatsApp or messenger with someone telling me man of god i'm 30 years i'm 35 years i'm 40 years i am still single every blessed day we get some of these messages and these messages encourage us to build prayer points to help our numerous believers around the world so maybe you are not praying this prayer for yourself but you are praying for someone so whatever declaration you are making not only for you but you and the entire family is going to work for you now we left about seven of them and then we go now say spiritual marriage chains break now in the name of jesus spiritual marriage chains break now in the name of jesus yes lord and i begin to say marital jubilation marital opportunities fall upon me now fall upon me now i will jubilate in the name of jesus then open your mouth and say lord this year i will be celebrated this year i will celebrate this year they will celebrate me in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, open your mouth again and say with me, Lord, let me laugh this year. Father, marital laughter, come into my life now. Marital enjoyment, come into my life now. Locate my life now. Marital freedom, be upon my life now. Marital enjoyment fall upon me now in the name of jesus lord i need my help mates father i need my help mates grant unto me my help mates in the name of jesus now continue to say marital doors open in the name of jesus marital doors open in the name of jesus marital doors open in the name of jesus yes lord spirit of delays Leave my life now, demon of delays. Leave my life now, demon of delays. Away from my life, demon of delays. Move away in the name of Jesus. I command you, you will not be part of my life. I command you, leave my life and go. Delays, don't be part of my dictionary in the name of Jesus. Lord, people that rejected me must join to celebrate me, my God. People that disappointed me must join to celebrate me people who will look down upon me will begin to look up upon me in the name of jesus people that look down on me will look up to me in this year they will look up to me in this year they will look up to me in the few years they will look up to me in the few days in the name of jesus continue to pray you are doing very well you are doing very well god bless you god bless you so much god bless you so much may you begin to say nothing Nothing will terminate my testimony. Nothing terminates my testimony this year. Nothing terminates my testimony this year. Nothing will terminate my testimony. Demon, you cannot terminate my testimony. Spirit of delays, you cannot terminate my testimony. Procrastination, you cannot terminate my testimony. My testimony is unterminatable. You cannot terminate my testimony. It is a command. Live my life now in the name of Jesus. Then somebody just open your mouth and say, My testimony will go abroad my testimony will go far my testimony will travel far my testimony will be heard afar in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit now all that you have prayed for thank you the rest permit me to decree upon your life permit me to seal it on your life and to be established 
in Second Kings chapter two, verse twenty-one, the man of God Elisha said, "From today it is established. From today it is this. From today there will not be any any, any kind of barrenness. From today there will not be any miscarriage. From today there will not be any miscarriage. From today there will not be any delay. From today your land is productive." And the Bible said that from from that time till now the land is productive. So you have said so much with me. I appreciate it so much. Allow me the next few minutes to also decree as a man of God. If you are seeing me on the WhatsApp or perhaps the, the video or wherever you see me after this, you can see me in my in my cassock. Why did I put on my cassock? There are some topics that must be as an as 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 an officiant of, of, of a particular program. I am dressed in a way that permits me to bless a marriage. You cannot bless a marriage in your normal clerical with your coat. This is my gown. So today, somebody there, by faith, touch your hand that holds the ring. And even if you are married, do this thing for me. Try your best. Remove the ring and then put the ring in an oil and say, Lord, today, my marriage is new. <laughs> an oil in the next six days we'll be having anointing service watch that video and come and do this one put the ring in your blood and say lord renew my marriage again let the love come into my marriage again let the peace come into my marriage again if you are not married do that for the one you call your mother the one you call your father okay it means that what you are doing you are renewing some marriages indirectly mention anybody you know that the marriage is almost on the rock and then hold the hand that wears the ring forget about your marriage now forget about your personal marriage now and begin to mention the person's name and say this person i soak your marriage in the blood of jesus may the lord renew your marriage for you may the lord build your marriage for you may your marriage be strengthened again may your marriage be blessed again may your marriage find favor with the lord again may your marriage produce may your marriage be so productive having done that now come to yourself if you are not married begin to remove any 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 unseen ring on your on your finger say any unseen ring i remove you from my finger in the name of jesus unseen ring put on me by demonic world i remove that ring i remove that ring i remove that ring i remove that ring unseen ring on my finger in the name of jesus i remove you now i remove you now i remove you now i remove you now in the name of jesus christ now begin to say lord i put your blood on my finger the blood somebody the blood somebody the blood you have no idea those of you have removed your ring begin to wear your ring now begin to wear your ring now begin to wear a ring now and say lord i put your blood on my finger that wears the, 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 the ring and, and if you're not married say lord my future spouse my future spouse i put the, the blood of jesus on that ring you cannot wear any evil ring no evil ring will be put on this finger again in the name of jesus that if you're married say my husband my my spouse so to speak my wife my husband wherever you are I put the blood of Jesus on your ring. I put the blood of Jesus on your ring. Any spirit that destroys marriage, any spirit that brings divorce, any spirit that brings confusion into marriage, that brings broken home. Today, we come against the yoke that brings broken home in the name of Jesus Christ. Now stand firm as a child of God. Our God is a covenant keeper. There was something I wrote. In Leviticus chapter 26, verse 45. But I will remember for them the covenant with their ancestors, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt and in the sight of the nations, that I might be their God and I am their Lord. The Lord is a covenant keeper. But there are some demons that have made some covenant with us in the spiritual realms. Today I decree in the name of Jesus, any blood covenant made on your behalf to bring your marital life to a halt, in the name of Jesus, may that blood covenant be destroyed right now. In the name of Jesus, any covenant made at the beginning oh, of your life, such that whenever any blessing is coming, that covenant will come and break that you know, miracle. Any covenant that has been made on your behalf, that breaks your breakthrough, that destroys your breakthrough, 
breakthrough that hurts your breakthrough in the name of Jesus may that evil covenant be broken now and from today that evil covenant is broken I say from today that evil covenant is broken in the name of Jesus in the spirit that has made you the tail in the demon that has made you the tail that you are never considered as first option you are never considered as second option but you are considered as 20th and 30th option today in the name of Jesus we make you the head by the anointing of the Lord we make you the head in the name of Jesus today by faith I publish your bands I publish your bands of marriage Beloved in our Lord Jesus Christ, I publish the ban of so so and so. Put your name there. Markabo di ban katabrebo. Libriando sikabre. That demon that is telling you your bans will never be published in the house of God. That demon telling you your marriage will never come on. I stand as a man of God and I publish your bans. And once the ban is published, it is published three times. But if you are brethren in our Lord Jesus Christ, I publish the ban between this lady. Put your name there. And this man you have anointed who is coming very soon that no one should have any hand in this marriage but if wherefore anyone has no as any cause or just impediment why these two persons should not come together let the person come and say it now else hold your peace forever let us therefore commit these two persons in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ that as they continue their marriage they will be seen as the light of the world and that this marriage will continue to be blessed in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ somebody by faith your bad has has been called oh my god has been pronounced has been announced in the name of jesus christ now somebody going you are going with me i said you should be quiet but you know what just say this with me our rise and shine our rise and shine my marriage will rise and shine in the name of jesus mention your name and say our rise and shine mention your name say our rise and shine when you read Isaiah 60 verse one as i 60 verse one he said arise and shine for your light has come arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord rises upon me somebody arise and shine this year you arise and shine marital wives arise and shine in the name of jesus from today you will not be married to the dead again from today in your dream you will not be married to the dead again from today you will not be romancing the dead again from today you will not be romancing in your dream again from today you will not get out with a, with, a, with a bed wet oh my god bed wetting bed wetting you get up and you're wet demonic powers that are marrying you we break the chain of that power we break the chain of that power leave this person right now leave this person right now leave this person right now you will never sleep and see yourself having sex in your dream again it is a command it is a command we command that power to leave you right now in the name of jesus i know you know testimonies are going to flow testimonies are going to flow mark i will never dream i will never dream and see yourself naked again you will never dream and see yourself naked again in the name of jesus it is a declaration it will happen in your life i say you will never dream so if you're watching this video later on just put your name there and then repeat after me and say i so so and so will never dream see myself naked again in my dream in the name of jesus when you continue to say i will arise and shine in every area of my life demon of unstable marriages demon of unstable marriages in your life we command that power to die now in the name of jesus angels of god according to hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 he said we are the ministering angels angels that minister to us angels that come to us angels that promote us angels that follow us may the ministering angels locate your marital life may the ministering angels locate your marital life you will marry i said you will marry your marriage will be stable I say you will marry. Your marriage will be stable. You will never be single to death. You will never be single to death. Any power that has cursed you, that you will be single to death, we command that power. We lose that power. We trouble that power. We destroy that power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now we go to the yokes. The yoke upon your life. Anti-marriage yoke. <laughs> the yoke. The yoke be bent by the, by the power of God. The yoke be bent by the fire of God. Anti marriage, no, anti, anti, anti marital yoke be broken. The yoke be broken. Somebody shout this yoke, yoke break, yoke break, yoke break, yoke break, yoke break, yoke break, yoke break. In the name of Jesus, the wrath of God, locate any anti marriage yoke, anti marriage yoke, the blood of Jesus, 
dismantle every anti-married yoke now in the name of Jesus every oven that is keeping those yoke any artificial you know oven keeping the yoke father we break the yoke now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any artificial insemination that is being fed to the, to the yoke that feeds the yoke we break that yoke and we break those insemination in the name of Jesus now we move again every power that has padlock your marriage you remove yourself from such padlocks in the name of Jesus any spiritual padlock that is holding you the spiritual padlock holding your marriage we release you now we release you now we release you now your marriage is free 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 thank you Lord you know sometimes your marriage is put on is put on hold the padlock, they lock the marriage and they throw the key into the sea. They lock the marriage, they lock the padlock, and then they write the names of the family members in the padlock. In the padlock that has your name, in the padlock that has your name, today I put a padlock in the blood of Jesus. I put a padlock in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Your marriage is removed. Your marriage is removed from that padlock, from that demonic world, from that padlock, from that demonic world, in the name of Jesus. That padlock, that padlock is removed. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, anybody that has gone to take your diary from your family, spiritually, may they return the diary. I say, may they return the diary. Spiritual diary. Go back in the name of Jesus. We don't need you. In the name of Jesus. Spiritually, we say you are free. Now, we, we pronounce, if you are single, we pronounce you single from today. It's as if you are single, we pronounce you, we pronounce you single. If you are married, you pronounce you married. You will not live like single persons in that house. In that house where you live, you are married, but you see a man and a woman separate as if they, they, you know, they, they, are, they are tenants in the house. That demon that makes married couples like tenants in the house, we break that demon by fire. We break that demon by fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious one. If you want to continue and continue, we'll continue today because I love this topic so much. It's really on my heart because I have so many requests on this particular topic. So we decided to do this to help you on your own and to work on it as well. May the Lord bless you for having time with us and for giving us enough time today to handle this particular topic. The assignment I'm giving you, if you're watching this video, later on or if you're on this line, the assignment I'm giving you is this. Pray seriously against demonic cobwebs that you meet. Demonic cobwebs. They come into your life, you just walk and you meet them. They just, you know, they just, you know, come to your face. Sometimes they, they handle your hands, sometimes your feet. Any demonic cobweb that has been sent to stop your marriage, to break your marriage, may the Lord take it away. Then the next one to do is that in the witchcraft, in the witchcraft, you know, that has been, you know, dispersed or perhaps from the demonic world into your family. They are dispersed into your, into your family to, to, to appear and to reassemble in your family to cause mayhem, to cause confusion. Those witchcrafts will not succeed in your family. They will not succeed. They will not succeed. The witchcraft that, 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 that pens your miracle. The witchcraft that stops your miracle. The witchcraft that stops your, your, your enjoyment. The witchcraft that stops your breakthrough. They will not succeed. I said they will not succeed. I said they will never, never succeed. Then the last one you are talking about is that Lord, my wedding ring be put in your blood. Nobody touches it. Put my wedding ring, whether I'm married or not. Put my marriage in a ring in your blood forever and let it be sealed. May the Lord be with you. You know what? Matthew chapter 7 verse 19. A tree that will not bear fruit will be cut down. Lord, don't let me be cut down. Lord, don't let me be cut down. But above all that we have said, you need to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Else, this prayer you have prayed will not be solid. Put your hand on your chest and let us pray. Let me lead you to read, you know, commit yourself in the blood of Jesus. That this prayer will have more effect on your life. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity to pray into my marriage 
to pray about my family's marriage. I come to you to forgive me of all my sins, known and unknown. Cleanse me, Lord, from all unrighteousness. Any sin that I've committed that is delaying my blessings, Father, forgive me. Any fornication I've committed that is delaying my blessing, Father, forgive me. And prepare me from today to be yours and yours forever. I know with this prayer, I'm saved forever. I'm liberated forever. I thank you, Lord, for saving me and for saving me forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Share the video to become a blessing. And thank you for taking your time. I've taken a lot of your time today. Bye-bye to those on the line. Bye.